Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I want to make this video to encourage you guys to repent for the sins that have been committed in your city, in your state, or in your country. But before I do, I want to encourage you like always, if you're not a Christian, please look in the comment section of any of my videos because in the comment section, I have a long comment that has a bunch of evidence for Christianity. If you're not a Christian, please read the comment and examine it. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you guys to read it. But please spread the comment. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it online, like on social media. Also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about the end times, the rapture, tribulation, things of that nature. So please read that also. Now speaking on repentance and as to why you should ask God for forgiveness for the sins that have been committed in your city, in your state or in your country. Concerning the things that are going on in this world, by what what by what humans are doing in like current events if you keep up with it humans are literally asking god for his wrath i mean we see what's going on in the world and humans are asking for god's wrath and they're pretty much begging god to pour down his righteous judgment because of because you see all the sins that are being committed and people think that oh they can do whatever they want and and that's going to be God. They're, they don't have to answer for their sins. So I want to encourage you guys, please repent on behalf of your city. Repent on behalf of your state. Repent on behalf of your country. Not only repent of your sins, but ask God to forgive your city, to forgive your state, to forgive your country. So you can say something like this. You can pray something like this. God, I understand that I'm a sinner. And God, I, God, I understand that. Many sins have been committed in my city, in my state, and in my country. But God, I want to pray for mercy, God. I want to pray for forgiveness. And I pray that, God, you stir up other people's spirits in this city, in this country, in this state to repent of the sins that have been committed and turn away from, the, from, from those sins and ask for, for your forgiveness. And you can pray things like that. So during the tribulation, when God pours down his righteous anger, that he'll remember that, look, these many people in this city repent of their sins. This, these many people in this city ask for forgiveness. And, and repentance moves, God, moves God's spirit. So he pours down his mercy. So he pours down his grace. And he sees, look, there's these many righteous people in this city. And they turn to me. They repent of their sins. They ask for forgiveness. And who knows, maybe because of that, God it will perform even greater miracles in that city just because there were Christians there and they turned to God and they asked for forgiveness. So you can repent of not only of your sins, but you can ask God to forgive the people in your city. And you can start like prayer groups. As you know, the Azusa Street Revival, it was like a, people just got together and they just prayed pretty much. It was like a gathering for prayer. And if you can like get your neighbors together and pray to God, get your family members and pray to God, get your friends and pray to God and ask for his forgiveness, ask for, ask for him to forgive you, ask for his mercy, ask for his grace and, and say that God, I know we have committed sins and I know the people in my city have committed many sins, but God, nevertheless, you're a God of mercy, you're a God of grace. And I pray that God, because I pray that God, you give me the strength to overcome my sins and on behalf of all the people that continually just turn away from you and they just spit on your face. On, on behalf of all those people, God, I repent in their place. I ask for your forgiveness in their place. And I pray that even the people that have rejected you, even the people that turned away from you, God, I pray that, God, you still have mercy and grace on them and you bring them to repentance and you perform whatever miracle you're going to perform for them to come to you and and God, remember all the times when I, I was a wicked sinner and I, I spit on your face. I rejected you. I rejected you. I turned away from you. But nevertheless, God, you had mercy on me. You had grace on me. And you you and you and forgave me. And I pray that, God, you, you, you do the same miracles for the other people. And you please forgive them like you forgave me. So this is a call to repentance. This is a call to prayer. Thank you for listening. All, go all glory to God and God bless. And please encourage your family members, friends, neighbors, even enemies to turn to God to repent of their sins. Thank you for listening.